What's up, people? How's everyone doing? This is Coach DC of the Intense Fit Way, where this is the way. How's everyone doing on this Take It Easy Thursday? It's a beautiful day out here. It's nice and sunny. It was hot earlier. Had to take my uncle to Duke early today for his um, checkup, you know, the kidney thing. If anybody don't know about it, if you want to know, hit me up. I'll let you know about it. <clears throat> Interesting. My, my family has a history of diabetes and kidney issues and stuff like that. It's in the genes. What I usually say, it's in the genes. And if you don't work it, the genes will come and get you. But <clears throat> let's get on with the subject today. So Jacob Blake found out that Jacob Blake had a knife. Jacob Blake had a knife. And I spoke to one of my um, police officer friends and he said, if a man has a knife, the police will escalate up. If a man has a knife, the police will escalate up. That means if you got a knife, you're gonna get shot. <laughs> it's like the one dude did going in the um, grocery store or the convenience store with the knife. They shot him before he got in there. Um, I think there was another dude with a knife also. So Jacob Blake, had a knife <clears throat> and Jacob Blake was not was not breaking up a fight Jacob Blake was the problem Jacob Blake was the problem that's why the police were called in the first place because Jacob Blake was where he was not supposed to be doing something he was not supposed to be doing So we, then we come down to the seven shots. The seven shots. Do you think he should have been shot seven times? No, I don't. I don't. But I'm looking at the scenario now. Like I was talking to somebody this morning. They got in a fight with the man on this side of the truck. They couldn't get him down. They couldn't apprehend him. They couldn't put the guffs on him. Then he gets up off of two cops. Understand this. He got up wrestling with two cops. Shook them off, shook off the taser, and then decided to go around his car and in his car for some other weapon. What were the cops supposed to do? Wait for him to access his weapon and turn around? Were, were they supposed to wait? I mean, according to Amazing Lucas, they were supposed to wait and see what he turned around with. Does that make any sense? Is that what you would have done? Would you have waited until he turned around with whatever he had in his hands? So you could make sure he had a weapon when you already knew he had a weapon before and you were fighting him on the ground before and he extricated himself from the wrestling on the ground, which means number one, the cops figured out real quick, he's probably stronger than us. Mm-hmm. And now we're scared. He's stronger than us, and now we're scared. Hype it up with the environment, all the people around him screaming and hollering and this and that and that and this. In that case, what can you expect? He didn't follow the orders of the officers. And some people are like, well, 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 what? Everybody should just follow orders. When an officer of the law, an officer with authority, officer of the state gives you an order and has a gun on you, you follow orders. I once got shot in the arm with a 20 gauge shotgun. Let me tell you this story. See this right here? That is from a 20 gauge shotgun bird shot. I never got it fixed. You know why I never got it fixed? as a reminder a reminder to myself of the dumb ignorance i did as a kid breaking into places fighting the police um doing all these other things no that was me that was me initiating the contact with the police because i was breaking the law and since i was breaking the law I initiated the contract. You know where this gunshot came from? We were breaking into a drug house, trying to save some woman that we didn't even know. 
or trying to help somebody we didn't know. We heard it was a drug house, so we were we drugs. So we're kids, we're in a gang. We're gonna go to the drug house. We're gonna break into the drug house. We're gonna help the woman that's in there that's, that's, that's fighting the dude or whatever. And then we're gonna get the drugs and we're gonna leave. Didn't work out that way. But they got shot with a 20 gauge shotgun. Got carried to the back of the truck with a friend. The back of the truck when the police arrived, guess what happened? There was a 357 stuck in my face. When there's a 357 stuck in my face, and he said, freeze, do you know what I did? I froze. I didn't move a damn muscle because there was a gun in my face, and I'm bleeding, and I need a hospital. And after that, guess what happened? I got put in an ambulance, I went to the hospital. They even gave me some good drugs, did surgery on me. But understand, I initiated the contact with the police by breaking the law. Mr. Blake initiated the contact with the police by breaking the law. And we don't even want to go into his rap sheet. Do we really want to go into his rap sheet? And most people are like, well, that didn't matter what his rap sheet said. Yes, it does. That tells you what kind of person he is. That tells you his reputation. That tells you what he's done to them. And reputation is everything. I know some of y'all don't want to believe that, but reputation is everything. My reputation has got me a job. My reputation has lost me a job. My reputation has got me friends, has lost me friends. So reputation is everything. His priors, that sheet they read to you or when they're on the computer and they're looking, oh shit, he's got this, he's got that, he's got this. And now he's at this woman's house and he stole her keys and she's in distress. Now we gotta go there. Reputation, I will say it again, reputation is everything. And his reputation was one of violence, one of non-conforming, one of disobedience. And when you don't listen, enough times you will suffer the consequences of not listening. Whatever it is, you don't listen in your home, you'll suffer the consequences. You don't listen to your wife, you'll suffer the consequences. You don't listen to your kids, sooner or later, you'll suffer the consequences. You don't stop at the red like you're supposed to. You will suffer the consequences. We should know this by now. We are not this dumb. Our skin color does not make us this dumb. It might make us arrogant, dumb, dummies at times, but it doesn't make us this dumb. We know that when somebody points a gun at you, you stop. And if you don't, maybe you die. That's the consequence. Peace. This is Coach DC of the Intense Fit Way. Like, share, subscribe, donate. I'm building my own channel now. I'm tired of YouTube. I'm tired of Facebook. I'm tired of all of them. I'm building my own website with my own messages, with my own daggone videos. I'm done with them. They want to fight. Now they got to fight. Peace.